guys, my name is Salia and I'm your first year ambassador lead and join us as we walk you through our first year of engineering at TMU. So right now you guys are joining me on my commute to campus. Um, my commute looks like taking the GO train from Pickering GO to Union and then from there I take the TTC to Dundas Station. If you are taking the TTC and the GO train, the Presto card is probably the easiest way for you to pay for it. There's also a three hour transfer within the TTC and the GO train so you don't have to pay for a TTC fare or if you're just taking the TTC, there is a two hour transfer that includes buses, subways and streetcars. GO trains also only come at certain times. For some people that may be an hour and others and maybe 30 minutes so make sure that you check ahead of time on the website or on the go train or go transit app to see when your train is going to arrive so that you're on time when you need to be Now I'm heading off to my class in the George Vary Engineering Building. In your first year, most of your lectures will be in the Dundas Square Movie Theaters, which is new for a lot of people. Um, you'll have most of your labs and tutorials in Kerr Hall. You may have one or two tutorials in the Engineering Building, but there's not much going on in your first year. Unless you're in ECB, you're going to have your ELE labs there in the winter. Personally, in terms of shortcuts, I do like using Gold Street because it's nice and lively. But there's also the indoor route from Kerr Hall and RCC. And if I'm going to the engineering building straight from Dundas Station, I usually like to take the Dundas Street directly there. So, how's it going, bro? Hi Let's guys! Go. Hi! This is Sajivit and this is Tony. And I'm the International Student Ambassador Lead. I'm the Events and Orientation Lead. So we're getting late for class. We waited for you for too long. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. So how was your commute? It was good. It was good. So we're just finished class, so let's talk about how first year courses work. Structure usually starts with lectures, which is around two to three hours a week. And every course has their course coordinator and a few profs that teaches the actual lecture. So during your lecture, it will be just a bunch of students in a classroom and then the prof just yapping away. During your tutorials, you'll have TAs either teaching you or helping you with lab experiments or doing practice problems. And then your class will usually have either one or two midterms during your first year and then a final exam. So your fall courses, you will have a general five course with every other engineering discipline. You will have your CN100, which is Introduction to Engineering. You will have your Calculus 1, Linear Algebra, Physics, and then your Chemistry. And then during your winter semester, you will have half of your courses which are general and then half of them which are specifically based on your discipline. So now moving on to the difference between high school and university, obviously there is a difference with the workload. You have um, a few more courses and they're a little bit more um, demanding, but also the big difference is the class sizes. Some of your lectures will have up to, I wanna say 500 students. In terms of making friends, I think that classes are a great environment to do so, um, especially in, in your tutorials and labs because you get to know people a little, a little more personally. So even doing something like asking them if they wanna go study after or grab um, some coffee, you know, don't be shy. Everyone's on the same boat of making or wanting to make friends. Okay, since we're done with class now, do you wanna go work on our project? Sure. Okay, let's go to the SLC. Wait, where's my bag? <laughs> Hello, we're here at the Student Learning Center today. This is the main building where most students start to study. However, this is not my favorite study spot. My favorite study spot is actually Atrium on Bay, which is down near Ted Rogers um, Business Building. Um, I like to study in the Heidelberg. It's pretty quiet, there's a nice view and big windows. My favorite study spot is the library 10th floor, but however, if it comes to the SLC, I like to study in the fifth floor because it's open and bright. All right, let's go study. Go towards the elevator. Yeah, I think too, so we can make a lot of noise here though. They're gonna kick us out. Okay, let's go. Yo, let's get a window seat. You can enjoy oh, like No, that's like, too distracting. Distracting? Okay. Tony, aren't you coming? Good view. Yeah. 
So, because some of us here were being indecisive, we decided to book a study room. You can book study rooms through the TMU SLC website. It will show all the available time slots and empty rooms. So Sajibin, how do you study? So, when the semester starts, I'm so motivated. It's just like a new semester, new beginning. I'm blocking in and then after that I get distracted with friends like you, extracurricular activities, stuff like that. And then every week we have like quizzes, sometimes midterms come right after each other. So it's always like me trying to make time before each quiz. What about you? So I like referring to instructors' uh, materials that they post that can include um, practice problems from textbooks or even um, past lab questions. But I think the most important materials that professor posts is past midterms or finals. Typically, professors would change it up a little bit, but it's really good practice. What about you, Celia? I am a big fan of to-do lists. So whenever I really need to lock in, I will number one isolate myself because I get distracted really easily. So I use like rain sounds or white noise and I will make a huge to-do list of everything that I need to get done um, and study and cover. I'm tired. You want to go get something to eat guys? Sure, let's go to your jolly bean. Mm. Nah, let's go to pita and hummus. Pita and hummus. Nah, let's get some like chicken biryani, chicken tikka masala, pani puri, like... Or we could go to Dave's. Dave's? Oh. Or we go to My Express. Uh, um, let's get sushi then. Sushi? Uh, you know, You know what guys? You guys are going out of the map. Let's go something close by. Any spots close by? The food truck? Open cafe. Um, okay. All can have this yeah. good. Down. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. guys, now we're at Oakham Cafe, a restaurant right on campus in the Student Campus Center or SCC. Here at Oakham Cafe, there is all day breakfast and lunch starts at 11 a.m. There's a lot of options like vegan, vegetarian, halal and gluten free. Prices are also reasonable and you can either dine in or order takeout at the counter. So one of my uh, go-to's here is a basket of fries. It's a big little thing of fries for $5 and it's great to share with your friends. And for me, I usually order the takeout student special, which is $10, and it's usually pasta, which is vegan and halal. So, this is Oakham's iced vanilla matcha latte with oat milk. Um, I'm a matcha connoisseur, but this is actually my first time trying it, so let's give it a shot. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'd recommend. Today, we ordered the Oakham House uh, vegan breakfast sandwich and the tofu scramble. So the tofu scramble, it comes with some fresh fruit, um, toast, baked potatoes, and obviously scrambled tofu. And the burger contains some lettuce, tomato, beyond meat, vegan eggs, and vegan cheddar cheese. So let's eat. You want some scrambled tofu? No, I'm really It's actually good. It's like, it's like tofu like cheese or something? <laughs> no. I'm just no. Asking. no, it's like soy. So we just finished a game of basketball here at the rack and we had it during the open sports hour, which anyone can come in and use the gym for any sport. So your one card serves as your gym membership and so that means there's no additional uh, fees if you want access to gym. As a TNU student, you have access to both the rack, which is where we are right now, as well as the MAC. The MAC is a Madame Athletic Center that you can find at Church and Carlton Street. Um, personally, I prefer the MAC over the rack because the equipment is a bit newer and it's slightly less busy, but the rack does have a lot more amenities such as women only hours, um, in classes such as bar, yoga, pilates, as well as how-to classes, like how to, how to dance and how to kickbox. At the Rack and Mac, we have the fitness rooms where it's usually really not busy in the morning, which is my preferred time to come and work out. We also have a lot of intramurals and drop-in sports like badminton, basketball, and volleyball. Me, personally, I like to swim. So generally after classes, I drop into the uh, Rack swimming pool hours. 
So there's lane swimming during from 4.30 to 6 p.m. And then after swimming, I generally like to go to the hot sauna. That's it. So that brings us to the end of the day. But before we say our goodbyes, we'd like to leave with a little piece of advice. So my first advice to my experience uh, during my first year is try to do your tasks as you go because you could get overwhelmed with assignments and uh, midterms and quizzes so try to stay on top of your list and my second advice also would be to join student groups or design teams because I felt uh, shy to join uh, design teams because I didn't have experience but first year is the perfect time to join design teams because it's a good time to start learning and grow with your skills and my final advice would be also to enjoy undergraduate life because adulthood is coming soon. So my advice is to make sure you maintain a good balance between school, extracurriculars and your personal life. Your personal life is really important in your first year because you don't want to get overwhelmed. However, for me in my personal experience, during my first year I joined far too many teams and uh, different groups for school, so I kind of got overwhelmed for extracurriculars. So in my second year, I improved that through joining or just staying in the groups that are most important to me and what I can see that can bring me the furthest. And my final advice is to ensure that you stay on top of your academics as well as do what you want to do as university is a place where you can um, make your dreams come true. Okay, and my piece of advice is to give yourself grace um, your first year especially is the time where you're going to experiment and see what does and doesn't work for you, um, what class times you like, etc. Um, I came into university thinking I'd love night classes because I'm not a morning person, but I quickly learned that night classes are not for me. Um, but yeah, make sure that you remember you're not going to be the perfect student right away. So, you know, enjoy the struggle a little bit because that's when you're going to see what does and doesn't work for you. And with that, we hope you guys enjoyed watching um, and coming with us throughout our days. Make sure you also follow the First Year Edge account on Instagram. And yeah, bye guys! Bye.